Hello, and welcome back to my Magic 3 Isles of Terra. So, I have uh, looked through all of the graves in this place, Swamp Town, and now if I recall everything correctly, I should be able to avoid all the nasty things. Okay, so first of all, starting from here, all of these graves are good, I think. The smell of moldy dirt surrounds the grassy knoll. Dig it up. Yes. And we found ancient jewelry. Something that we can sell. An eerie light glows from the grave. Dig it up. Yes. Nothing. Worms and grubs infest the mound of the grave. Dig it up. Nothing. So there's nothing but jewelry. Something we can sell. Or equip. If that's the kind of thing that actually does make me wonder if I can now enchant these things. Hmm, maybe it's worth a try. Okay. Next, these things. I think this one is bad. So let's open this one. Yes, 5,000 gold. Alright, this one I think is also bad. So we need to open this. 200 gems. Useful. Next, this is also something that I want to open. The party found a holy bonus scroll. Now for all these things, um, let me check who can use them. Bonus is only a clerical spell, I think. Or can druids also use it? No. Okay, so that means I need to give this to Malcolm. He does not actually have any um, any advanced spells like Holy Bonus. Just learned that, but he doesn't know the uh, or yeah heroism and uh, power shield and other things that can be cast on people. So yes, good. That is what I need. Then I don't think there is anything else in here. We can't go through there. That's just the portal. Yes. And I don't think, yeah, there's nothing here either. So let's uh, let's go here. There's nothing there either. In this place. I think both of these are bad. That's the guild. So let's not bother with these. Mm, I think this is also bad. So let's. And this. And it's a heroism scroll. That's one of the things that uh, we learned already, but not for Malcolm. Yes, now he has Holy Bones, Power Cure, and Heroism. Next, this is bad. And these are all good. Ancient jewelry. An ancient artifact of evil. Unfortunately, we still don't know where to turn it in. Hmm. Next, more ancient jewelry. Then, more ancient jewelry. Another artifact of evil. And finally, a cure paralysis scroll. Hmm. Not too sure who should learn that. Because druids can learn that too. I 
think that we will only get one of these, like this is the only cure paralysis scroll. In which case, this goes to Malcolm too. So that's very nice to have. We finally have a method of curing paralysis. So yeah, all the cures are now accessible by Malcolm. Good to have a central curing place. Okay, and this is not good. Let's not bother with it. Okay. So this place is now clear. Um, now I want to either warp back to some place or to go to the shop and sell off those things that we've got. Well, first off, I want to check if I can cast... Well, I can't cast anything, but... Uh... Let's rest, I guess. Okay. Now, let's see if I can cast... Enchant item on the ancient jewelry. Uh, yeah, I think that was his items. Enchant ancient jewelry. No. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Right, so, that means I want to go and sell those things off to clear the inventory a bit. And the shop is here. Yeah, it's 2,000 for each, not bad. Maybe it's possible to enchant regular jewelry? Hmm, I'm not sure. Have an okay amount of money. Then let's. Hmm. Can't even give these to anyone because Flox already has his hands full, and Paul almost the same. Actually, yeah, you can give this and once. can give one to Shran. Then you can hold the artifacts of evil. All right, that sounds like a good idea. So now I want to clear out the inventory a bit. Actually, before we do anything, I want to go look at those statues again. So, what turns everything around but does not move? Let's see what the clue book says. So, the... Swamp Town. Alright, where is it? Okay. So, I'm not sure which one is which. Both are of six letters, and one starts with N, which is M. Okay, M. Turns in everything around, but it's not move. M. I would say mind, but that does not fit in to six characters. Okay, well, what's R, then? Um, it is I! Huh. Okay... And then what is I, in that case? It's probably R, yes. Use the password PRIMARY to enter the main engine sector. 
<laughs> well, more hints towards Sheltam. Okay, so there's the password primary. Definitely don't want to go there just yet, because that would totally destroy us. But let's see what is here then. What goes up and down but never moves? If that was a mirror, then what would this be? First letter is H, which translates into S. Hmm. Still no idea. G translates into T. St. Okay, well. What is the third one? Z, which is A, probably. Yes. Sta. Staircase! Of course, that would make sense. But that's not the right amount of flutters. Stair stairs? Stairs? Yes. Use the password sublevel to enter the beta engine sector. Sublevel. Okay. Again, not something that we can make use of. Also, let's finish mapping the place. While I'm at it, I also need to go through this place. Okay, now mapping is complete. Alright, so let's go back through the portal into whatever is closest to the Slithercult stronghold, I think. Is it the Slithercult stronghold that I need to go to? Uh, one second. Yes. Yes, it is. And that was near Fountainhead. So let's go there. Well, while I'm here, might as well also power up. Touches are almost enough, but not quite. And there. Okay, I need to go here, so let's do that. It was the corner. Right. Not a whole lot of slithering and hissing now, because we cleared the whole place. But we need to... Huh, right, these things. Um, jump, right. And I think I need to go forward. Say the missing brother sent you. Who sent you? Yeah, so it's like... We have talked to brother Alpha, brother Beta, brother Delta, brother Gamma, and brother Zeta. Well, one obvious answer would be to say... Omega! But no. And then I can go through everything. So, say... 
Epsilon is somewhere close. And it worked. Alright. So, this does not have anything. I said Epsilon. Well, let's see what's down this path. Oh! Okay, so there are still some of them left. Not a whole lot of threat to us at this level. <laughs> Actually, I probably want to cast Wizard Eye because there might be things that we are not seeing but are still present. Like that. What? That guy looks interesting. Seth Squirm. A small slot opens in the wall as a scaly face peers around you. Step into the slither called Saloon. If you have quad loose, test your luck on out slot machines. This should be our probably. Everyone's a winner. Yes, very soon, in fact. Hmm. Now, how does this work? Let me swallow your Quatlu and see what you get in return. Put a Quatlu in the altar's mouth? I say yes. Archer. Quadlu to play. Okay, so everyone needs to have a Quadlu. Now these things give out stats that I remember. The question is, does it matter which slot machine I spend my Quadlus on? Because it looks like they all can be played multiple times. So let's see. Um, if this is the Slitherful Stronghold. Oh, there are three things, and it looks like they all give the same things, so it doesn't matter which one you play on. Right, so... probably actually want to give this to Malcolm. So, you get a Quadlu coin. So, let's see. 18 might. 20 endurance. 25 accuracy. You feel stout like never before. Okay, so it adds plus 5 to a random stat from those. I do want more accuracy for Archer, and I do want more might for Malcolm. So I will probably play this until I get more might for Malcolm. So you can get a lot of quad loose. Feel stout like never before. Okay, third time with the charm? No. Hmm, then maybe. Maybe these all give different stats. Yes, your muscles surge with heightened power. Perfect. Now we should be able to bash down more doors. Then I need. Well, actually, I really need more speed, but these things don't give you speed. These are all only endurance, accuracy, and might. I don't think accuracy is really that much of a problem at this point, once I have obsidian items. 
So let's let's try and get some more might. Will this also get might? Yes. Okay. So it looks like each of these give it statically. That is very useful. Accuracy. Well, might as well make certain of that by playing the last one, and also giving that to Malcolm. Yes, true of fame. So this indeed works just like I thought. How many more quadlers do we have? Three. Four. So, obviously... Well, Shran could use more might. But so could Reed and Archer himself, because he needs to get that 50 might. So how about giving a quadlu to each? Except that he's full. And what to give the final quadlu to? Guess let's give that to Archer. Because we need that for a quest and that overrides other priorities. Search with Titan Power! Titan Power! Titan Power. And Titan Power. Yes, good. 47 might, which was gigantic. We need only three more points, and we will be able to uh, get the golden key card. We should have enough uh, opportunities to do so in the future. And if not, well, there's always uh, might potions, I think, if they do exist in this game. Save. Now, actually, Hoshi has a much freer inventory. Yeah, only one page. So, yes. Now we can store a lot more things. Okay, jump. How are they not getting chopped to pieces anyway? <laughs> nice. And Fifteen gems. Jump again. Hmm. That's a weird place to be. was a strange movement pattern, but whatever. They're not much of a threat. Well, let's try and explore as much as we can without getting hit. <laughs> nice. What? 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 That was weird. How did that happen? Well, let's try jumping here. So 
looks like it's not where I need to go to. Maybe if I do this. No. Maybe if I do this. No. What is up with this place? Where haven't I jumped yet? There, pretty much. Okay, that worked. Kind of odd, but okay. here, but there's also something there. But it's not passable. Oh, right. Hmm. Well, I can retrace my steps, that's easy enough. I just don't want to bother with this place, so let's, uh... Actually, I cannot even go anywhere. I could go back, but that's everything. Oh, it's the cult leader! Oh. Okay, let's see. Cult leader, 300 HP, 15 AC, 25 speed. Has a ranged attack, physical damage, 30,000 experience, one attack for 5 to 75 damage. Yeah. This half woman, half snake cult leader operates from a well protected room deep within the Slither Cult stronghold. She is resistant to magic and casts sleep at those who attack her. Isn't magic. Well, so I don't know if that's magic magic or just magic overall. Well, it looks like that's magic magic. So I am free to cast other things like energy blasts. Yes. Yeah, that did not last. And a chainmail. 10,000 gold, 25 gems. Nice. Huh, wow, we almost have a thousand already. Oh, a platinum chainmail. That will be perfect for Shran. Because he's only using ringmail so far. Okay, let's save and let's see what the treasure is. That does not look like much of a treasure. Now that does look like much of a treasure, though. Ropes. Ring. Oh, a longbow. Nice. Great axe. 500 gold. Oh, wow. Steel great axe of immobilization. Spell longbow of feeble minding. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony ring. Oh, and silver robes. Nice. Yes, we can make use of these things. And lots of gold. Probably lots of gems. Yes, lots of gold and gems. The last thing is this. This could be another place where you can level up. So, I will give this to Paul. Or... J 
just an artifact of neutrality. Well, that's fair enough, too. Alright, so that was the Slithercall Stronghold, although I think there are still the other side of it to explore. And there's also something there. But yes, I will finish exploring the place next time. See you all then. Later.